So I'm on the 5 going north. Uh, I want to go to the 14 to Palmdale and drive up the uh, San Andreas Fault. And I thought it would be, uh, you know, pretty much uh, clear sailing uh, all the way because I thought it would be in the opposite direction of the traffic. And it's not rush hour, it's uh, a few minutes to 11. But the, traffic's, uh, the traffic just came to a stop. So, I don't know, it could be an accident, I don't know. But you know, it's just so typical of LA. I hope nobody's hurt, but you know, it could just be traffic too. I hope we'll see. I set my odometer at zero. It's gone 12 miles so far. Starting to move now. The problem was there were, believe it or not, there was an accident on the other side of the freeway, and everyone on this side was slowing down to look over at the other side of the freeway. Oh no, but now it's slowing down here again. Yeah, this doesn't look good. There's traffic just backed up on both sides of the freeway. Both sides of the freeway. And this is not downtown. This is Silmar. You know, that right there, that's where the water comes in. It used to come in up there. It used to be water cascading down there. But, uh... You know, I'm not even to the 14 yet, and traffic is just jammed on both sides of the freeway. It's like I can't get anywhere. I thought I would just go on a pleasant drive, see the San Andreas Fault. Look at this. It's impossible, really. Well, it's going to take a lot more time anyway. See, right in there, that's where the water would come in. There's a big water pipe there. And then there's the uh, that cement pathway where the water would get aerated. I, but I haven't seen them using that in a long time. When I was a kid, I used to see that. That was pretty cool. And the water coming down from the mountain. Okay, maybe it's uh, people coming back from the snow on the uh, south moving side and then on the, on the north maybe it's people coming back from the airport but I made it to the 14 and which is uh, moving 14 is moving I believe these mountains are formed uh, by a doming effect the pressure Uh, because the earth is expanding the, the continents you know if you can imagine the uh, circumference of the, uh, of the continents remaining in place due to the uh, plates surrounding it but as the uh, earth gets more round then it starts doming up if you can see what I mean and then after a while um, it gets pulled down so it starts breaking and uh, you know, some places sink and some places uh, remain um, in an upward see like that's see that slant right there see, it, was, it domed up curved and then broke right at the fall. So I guess the Palmdale dream is to be able to own your own house. Um, what they're building out here, very nice looking houses in a community. This says Delta, Delta Ridge and uh, it's very, very clean.
looks like the houses are, uh, there are a few designs to choose from. It's a cul-de-sac. I think this is a cul-de-sac too, because it's right up against the mountains. Seems like you would know your neighbor. So I'm driving up the fault now. There are uh, a couple of lakes on this uh, route. So uh, I'm going to stop at the first one and get lunch and take a look around. It's a beautiful country. Some cows over there. Take a look at this schoolhouse. The sign for the schoolhouse pointed over there on the other side of the fence, but the fence is closed. I don't know. That doesn't look like an old school. This is a community building. And I like it here because see these horseshoe. They play horseshoes here. Pretty cool. We got the wood backing. I forgot about that. And here we are inside the fault. Very nice country. I saw a sign that said this is a vintage community. So it's very interesting. I love it here. Uh, this looks like the center of town. Looks pretty cool. There's the market. You can buy some flowers or whatever. And this woman's waiting. See there's traffic here already. See? Two cars, I start to feel the pressure, man. Oh, no, this is the guy right in back of me already. Jesus Christ. Looks like that could be a, a vineyard, or looks like a vineyard, actually, yeah, right there. I'll let those, I'll let two, those two cars pass. The car in back of me just makes me feel like I'm rushed. I pulled off the side of the road for a second just to take a look at this uh, small farm because they're the backbone of America. It just goes from about there to over there. Then that's that's when the next. I think that's another small farmer. So maybe that fence there along that road and this area in here they could grow in there. Here we are, and I'm uh, turning north. Let me go up here, I guess. Hope this is the right way. Oh, they pulled off the road again. There's just interesting places all along this route. Oh, look, there's a hole in the fence. Uh, I'm not sure if this is Lake Elizabeth. This might be the one that comes before that. Uh, I'll look it up on the map, but I heard that. I think it was this one where uh, it doesn't quite freeze over, but then people think it's frozen, so they go out on it, and uh, people have drowned here. But I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of fun here too, like go boating, or I don't know if I'd want to swim in that. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. It's a vacant lot here, and those look pretty new, those homes. This is a coincidence. Uh, I'm on Elizabeth Lake Road and Hill Street, and this is where I came with, uh, this is where, yeah, I came with uh, Catherine here. She was gigging here, and we ran all around here. It was fun. We uh, went up there. There are rooms up above, and then it's a restaurant down below. So I just came from the Rock Inn. It's an old building, uh, 
uh, made out of rocks. I think maybe it was a post office a long time ago. I'm not sure. I'll check that out. But I uh, had a good sandwich. Got to hear the locals talk. You know, it's real Americana, you know. They tell great stories, funny stories about their kids. and Or somebody, you know, the, the nerdy building inspector, you know. The, it's just great Americans, you know. Just, you know, the conversations. You know, it's fun. and So, uh, <clears throat> you know, I should have stayed longer, actually. But I can always go back. I'm gonna head back that way too. But right now I'm still driving. You know, I'm continuing north, driving down the fault. I'm on the fault. This is what it looks like. Oh, there's some snow along the side of the road there. It's very pretty here with the snow, so I decided to stop my car. Looks like I'm um, going down into the fault here. This is a riverbed. This is a wash. Or because it's sandy soil. I was looking for the powder. The powder, the powder caused by the the uh, fault lines rubbing together. Okay, I was driving along and I saw this this rock formation. A lot different, right? So I gotta get out and see what that is. It looks like well this is granite. So this is like you know broken up granite and see see the powder? That you know it's like it's like powder. This is where the fault is that is crushing all the rock together. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. I'm going to take a sample of this. Uh, they move about 8 feet a year. 8 feet every 100 years. Um, but I guess that's enough to grind the rock together. You know, over, over thousands, millions of years, it grinds it together. Some of it gets pushed up, like right here. It gets pushed up. and. Uh, you know, it's not really compacted like, let's say up there. Up there, it's more compacted. And it, it doesn't. It's, it's a. It's the alluvial brown soil, the decomposed granite. Here, this is the crushed ground granite. It's more powdery, so it's white, and it's softer, so it erodes like this. So water, uh, water has eroded it away much easier and uh, much faster and in, in a different fashion than uh, the soil up there which covers most of you know all this which is kind of I, th I believe it's sediment from when this was uh, when the planet was actually smaller and uh, before the mountains were made and, and this was covered by ocean a lot of this is uh, sedimentary so I'm going to turn around. I'm, I've turned around. I'm going back. I'm going to take um, San Francisco. <laughs> How do you say that? San Francisco. San Mosquito. And uh, I'm going to go to the ruins of the old Mulholland Dam. Why? What happened? <laughs> I 
So they call it the Lakes Area. Uh, you could drive down there and there's a... There are some picnic tables down there. And it looks like the water... This was the bank right there. Uh, but it's low. The water is actually way out there. And you can see some people walking on the bank with their dog and their kids there and then uh, over there too. And there's some, looks like there's still some snow down there. But we've been having a drought, so it's, I mean, there was probably, usually probably a lot more water here, all the way up to here. The uh, toilets are always in bad shape. And I can't even, uh, and then this, I can't even get the, see the deadbolt doesn't uh, go in, into the uh, door jam there, so it won't lock, it won't close and then it won't lock either, so that's that. Maybe I'll walk down to the water. Alright, so like I said I was going to do, I'm taking the uh, San Francisquito Valley back to the five. This is the canyon Moholland thought he could build the dam in, but the water, I mean, the, uh, the soil wasn't uh, stable enough. It was just, this would be a great canyon to live in. I'm seeing some really nice real estate. San Francisquito Canyon and uh, Calle El Monte. Has an old pay telephone. Looks like it might not be open yet. So this is part of uh, LA's waterworks. is higher than this ridge here so once the pipe's full of water and then it's got that good uh, siphoning effect so the water way down in this gully it'll be uh, it'll be pulled up the side of this hill because the pipe is uh, airtight and the water on that side of the hill is being pulled down by gravity. I remember now that uh, I read that the uh, the city doesn't want people going down to uh, where the dam used to be because some people got hurt down there climbing on the rocks. So uh, this new road here doesn't, they say doesn't have access to the old road that went down there and I think maybe this was the old road or that uh, the one up there alongside of the uh, mountain was the old road. But uh, either way I don't think I'm, I'm getting down there. But uh, the dam was built uh, on this type of soil here and that's why it failed. Because this is not this is not solid rock. There are rocks in it, but it uh, you know it, it comes apart. See? Okay, off of uh, the new road, I found this road. This definitely looks like an old road, abandoned. So I'm gonna go check this out.
So I come around this uh, corner here of the rock, and here's where the dam was. You can still see huge chunks of concrete. Uh, I believe um, city engineers were trained on how to use dynamite here, so they, they blew up what was left of the concrete. Also, they didn't want people climbing on it because uh, somebody got killed uh, here climbing on some of it. But uh, I ain't gonna go down there. Looks like they used a lot of the rock uh, from the surrounding area, like that. It's like sandstone. It's uh, almost like a quartz granite. It's mainly concrete. But I've never seen big aggregate like this. It's almost like they just threw like rubble in. Look at that. Look at that rock. And uh, the other side of the canyon, it's not that far. I thought it was going to be farther away. But I could actually throw a rock and hit the other side of the canyon. There's a post. It's been shot three times. But that was probably a part of the original railing. Wow! Didn't know this was here. That's big enough to swim in. It looks pretty deep too. So that's the far side of the dam. It went across here to, to here. Being a swimmer myself, I have to see what it's like for these people who go swimming here. Wow, that is deep.